Hello Galaxy Heroes. So, this is, I believe, nine videos in total. Um, something I need to point out immediately is none of these have actually been speeded up. Um, I know I keep going back to my rant video, but <laughs> these are honest battles. These really are honest battles. There's none of this Olay shit. These are Jedi's either going at Jedi's and clones, i.e. the 501st, or they're going at First Order combos. So this one here I can see is the Malik combo. Um, first Order officer in there and, and Hux was there. Um, you'll see him in another video. There's, there's more than one. So, um, yeah, I thought I'd start to share. The, these have been... Some of these have been in here for a little while, a few days now, but I uh, just wasn't in the position at that time to uh, to get them out, whip them out, I don't know. Yeah, get them out. I don't know why I'm talking that, like that. Anyway, I'm impressed. I really am impressed. Uh, in fact, spoiler alert, unless you really want to forward through to the end, um, the last battle is uh from our territory war that finished earlier on today and today is monday there you go okay so we're now down to two jedi one of which does shit uh this one is not looking very favorable at all I call, uh, I call the froggy in to assist on those. On those. It seems a bit of a waste. To, and I'm not giving him the uh, the JKR buff thing. So now it's just Luke v Ben. Actually, it's not Ben, is it? It is Kylo. It's Luke v Kylo. I wonder if we'll get a Ben. A ghosty thing that... Yeah, yeah, who, who knows? Um... Honest truth, I can't remember. Oh, so the froggy is down. Right, so this one doesn't end well. So <clears throat> we've left him. I didn't, don't think he hit his ultimate. Most of these, I, I tried. Uh, quite a few of these are non, non ultimate Kylos that I know I can guarantee you that the last one is. Um, so here I'm um, scrolling through. So I'm looking for Jedi's. Um, just to try different comps and who have we gone for now oh Basti that well known Jedi that unfortunately has the old republic tag so isn't going to benefit actually well, isn't going to benefit from Luke's lead that he doesn't have so hmm. the idea there was that Basti just beefed them up a bit and of course she has got that lovely ability block as well and she calls to assist and she gives us a shed load of boosts. So um, this one, this one is, um, oh, I know I've already thanked whoever it was and mentioned their links below. I just don't want to name the wrong person because that would be awful. So. Um, but this isn't my theory crafting. This is me just trying theory crafting and all that that brings. So we're just bearing down on Kylo as much as possible. Um, if we can get a hit. But of course now Malik decides that he wants to step in and spoil our party. And then I discovered that... Oh, actually... This time around, it has worked. Can we switch? But no, we can't. We're now locked back over there. So can we get rid of Malak? Put a dent in him, but not as much of a dent in him as Kylo put into... Uh... <coughs> Jedi Knight Revan. Uh oh now we're in trouble. So how well does this go from here? So we're going to be calling Basti for the assist... Didn't do much at all. Can we get right? So now we've ability blocked him and we're down to 
one working Jedi and the ability block has gone, but so has he. Yay. Stun, which will have hit Kylo. And can we? Yes, we can. This should now just be a clean up. So there you go. Got a feeling that one wasn't ultimate Kylo. And I'm finding now more and more on the shards, the arena shards, that, that if they're not ultimate, then you don't see them because they're playing the other one that is. So this time round, I was trying the Luke lead um, with two Old Republics, which doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Um, so, yeah, ha, on me, that's absolutely stupid. This one, um, I can't see this one lasting that long, to be honest. But, yeah, let's persevere. I know I did get, I can't remember what comp it was, but I did get a Luke lead win. Uh, I don't think it's this one. I really don't. Not the way it's going. I mean, if Luke one <laughs> shots this lot... Then, um, then this video might get a few hits. I think I would have remembered had he. Oh no, I tell you why I put it in there though. It's just that it was just the thing of beauty that he did have a really good go at whittling it down to one on one. <clears throat> so, again, um, against gonna say it's not i don't know how you tell the difference i'm sure some clever bods that watch will be able to enlighten me on how you tell the difference between i mean other than looking before you click on the battle that is so can we get rid of hux yes we can and we got rid of crew yay that one hurt, but then we got straight back. I don't really want to do the AOE because I don't want to hit Malak until I really have to hit Malak. Fortunately, Luke is immune, is he, to Malak's fear? Now I'm going to try the old switcheroo. Get him down a bit now. Can gas make inroads on? Not yet. Maybe the two of them together can. And get in there. But so is Kylo. And the clock's ticking. So this is going to have to be the assist. Boom. Now we can do the twirly blade. Go on, throw your belly. Go on, toss your saber. That's it. Feel better for that. Okay. He did good. So now we've got to wait for the clock to run down um, for Kylo to move, which isn't too long. It doesn't seem to be as agonising as the Ray one. I'm still fuming about Ray. Fuming about the fact that I still have to use Revan to hit my payout every day. Has anything else just isn't working? Yeah, anyway, let's not go negative. This is, uh, um, to me anyway, hope this is positive. This is seeing Luke beat Supreme Leader Kylo multiple times. And also, if you've been looking for some vids on Jedi Knight Luke, um, well, here's a bunch for you. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh dear, that's awful. I'm laughing at my own jokes. Oh my God. Right, we're going in again. So this was a squad that... Uh, this isn't a squad that is ready. Um, I have got Isla to Relic level 2. And since then, Ezra is now Relic 5. Um, the only thing that these ones really show is the fact that 
all you need to beat Gas is Jedi and Luke, <laughs> Jedi Knight Luke and General Anakin Skywalker. Oh, and a froggy in the background that plays peekaboo every now and again. It's weird that he's always behind Luke, isn't he? Oh. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. No, no, I'm not going there. I'm not going there. So, um, obviously here it's a case of we just need to get rid of fives first of all. So that should take place now. That should take place now. So I'm aware that Gas's protection is building back up again. Can we clear Rex out of here before? Yes, we can. But the other two are still here, so the assists. Gas got a little bit low there, went down to yellow. Um, but Luke's going to put Gas on his ass or on his knees. And this is over pretty quickly. Possibly waste that, but I just wanted them as buffed as possible. As buffed, you know what I mean? As healthy and as much protection as possible for when gas stood up. I was aware. I was, there you go. So, how many Jedi's does it take to uh, put down a gas squad? Two and one making funny laughing noises. And talking backwards. Yes. Actually, Hermit Yoda's cool, cool, cool tune. So, what have we got here? So we've got Gas. Um, Luke, obviously. This is all about Luke. So this is another Luke lead. But this time around with Shaq um, in place of Ezra. Um, so... Note to self, I should, I should, I should have done the group attack there because then I would have kept my shack. So that's something to note immediately that <clears throat> maybe doing the group attack is the wisest move to reheal them um, rather than lose them right at the start because shack's pretty cool. I did a, a promo, actually. It's one of Mike Hunt Productions, Shaq T. Was it the Shaq twat or something? <laughs> so, <laughs> everyone's going to get twatted by her in 2019 or something. Kind of came true. I mean, she is pretty damn good. And um, before the Merc came in... Um, she was one of the go-to squads for decent scores in Heroic Sif. Shaq and the, uh, and the 501st. So, yeah, yeah, I'm a Shaq fan. I am a Shaq fan. So, okay, just been uh, filling the time here, waiting for Echo to depart. So now, this is a stronger finish, he says. Nope. We're still looking at... Two Jedi. No, no, two Jedi. Yeah, I was right. I was two, There's no and. Two Jedi this time round. So this is quite an expensive way to clear gas. Um, but it did afford me the opportunity of just trying some different Jedi combinations. Uh, if nothing else, then, you know. Now, do I remember this time? Yes, I do. Look, that makes such a difference. So now you're down and now we can find fives and see Shaq is great to have in here because she's also a debuffer isn't she on her basic. We've just got to hope that we don't counter someone to death that isn't fives. So this is one that I'm struggling with as well is remembering which one does what. Because I don't want to make Luke invisible. In fact, if anything, I want them to hit Luke. Because he don't like it. And he back, hits back and he hits back pretty hard. Okay, so now we have lost Shaq. Um, Hermit Court comes in. And now Luke can start working his way on gas. There we go. Gas should sit down now. And now we're just cleaning up. So, 
gas for the first go. Pop the taunt for old Ben, because we'll have the buffs if, because obviously if he's taunting, then gas will have to go for him. Um, and then I just hope that that does that. I love that. That was uh, too quick for itself, wasn't it? But So we're going to lose old Ben here. Or are we? Yeah, we are. Oh, yeah, of course we are. But now, of course, we've got Argas and Luke. Boom. We've got the victory. Still, yeah, they're not clean. They're not clean enough. But then, really, why would you use them against gas? It's just... I'm using them against what I can use them against. Um, I haven't really tried with Ray, because um, as far as I'm concerned, I want a Ray bloody embargo as much as possible. Just, just, yeah... Yeah, I'll I'll come back to her, but but um, I to be honest, I don't think you know it's the dark side more for countering Ray and the light side. Well, actually, what well, well, we've got, I'm sure there are more, but we've got Jedi's that can be Merc. I've seen the Sith Empire, a pure Sith Empire team, can beat Merc and um, there is mm, depending on the composition it can't be Malak and um, it needs to be someone other than a fifth first order so chances are it can't be what either I don't know um, with Darth Vader but, you know, I mean, that's the one that's kind of like, who's going to set one that's open to that? If you can afford to put your Malik down um, in your defence like this to protect. Um, and it can be very effective, this four FOs and a Malik. So we're trying to get through so that we can actually stick some on Kylo. And um, of course it's proving problematic. So she'll debuff him, then he'll pop straight back up again. But he's no now not taunting, so we can clear for a second the buffs. Bye bye Revan, Jedi Knight Revan that is. And now we just got to try and get around Malik to get at Kylo. That's quite handy, two dodges. Ah, that's probably because of the little green man in the background. So even that doesn't block. How annoying is that? Well, let's switch the Revan thing. Right, finally. God. You know what? Even then, it's still not as annoying as Ray. Okay, so he's going to do his thing. Who's he making disappear? He's making the two back Jedis disappear. So now it's just Luke and Shaq. And nothing we do at the moment is going to impact because he's doing his uh, thing. Right, so now. Now is our window of opportunity. So if I put that on Luke, that stealths him and kills her. So I can't be doing that. So I buff Shaq. Go again. Okay, we dodge that. Let's clear his buffs. Luke can take the hit and he'll counter it. And now switch that back over to her. And now... Boom. And that was the end of that battle in TW tonight. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy it.